the enforcer. Who want to play with the enforcer? 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 Money like a boss, but I still come off. Yeah. Origin Speed AJ is the newest Jiu Jitsu team in the Philippines. Uh, having said that, you know, we're comprised of a lot of Jiu Jitsu practitioners that's been around for a while in the country. Uh, what gave birth to Origins BJJ is that we started just going back to the roots of why we all started training in the first place. But the primary purpose is, you know, we're a bunch of friends that gets together and has fun while improving in Jiu Jitsu. And that's something that uh, we try to ingrain uh, in every student, in every activity that we do. And that just gave birth to bringing in the, the Souza Brothers, which is our first activity as a new team. Uh, we brought in Marcos and Roberto Satoshi de Souza, uh, one of uh, two of the significant fighters of this era. Uh, Marcos and Satoshi, they've been winning competitions left and right in Asia, in Europe, and Abu Dhabi. And it's a really big honor to have them here. And Marcos and Satoshi being here, it's just a big lift in everyone's spirits. And it's not just for the people that have been doing this for a while. Even the guys that have been just doing this recently, uh, they get to see what world-class level Jiu-Jitsu is. And when it's right in front of them, they start to get to realize what they can actually become, right? Uh, it's not just, you know, seeing what's on YouTube anymore. It's about it's about what's in front of you and that move is actually possible because there's a live person in the flesh just doing the moves that you were seeing on YouTube before or in videos and it just makes everything so real. So that level of Jiu Jitsu suddenly becomes, becomes uh, available to you and realistic and then everyone starts aspiring to it. Who oh, wanna play with the impossible? Who want play with the enforcer? 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 Money like a boss, but I still come off. Yeah. Ferrari, Lambo. Uh, Philippines is a good place. The more important for me in this travel is I now I have more more friends, good friends. And I hope everyone will like my my work. This is more important for me. I like this Philippine because it's very hot, same Brazil. I remember Brazil here. It's a good place, I hate good people here, no friends, this is more important for me. Good food too. Yeah, <laughs> good. I like pork. <laughs> Yes, I, I all ever cite this for my students. Jiu Jitsu no is easy. You need training hard, you need the discipline. It is, is more important because Jiu Jitsu no, no is easy. You need training hard every day for to learn some positions because if you no, no give you, you you're the best in, in lessons, you're no, no, no learn. Okay, this is more important. When you go to training, you need to forget everything. You need to forget your work and the problem with your wife. Okay, you need to give your the best all time, all the time. Okay. Maybe just for training, you go training because your life. No, you need because your life. Maybe this is more important. I train not because I need. Because I train it because I like. This is more important. I I know heavy many people believe me, trust me, my sponsor, my family, my students. This is more important. When I'm loses, one loses no never can uh, keep me in doubt. In other day I train again. I want to win every time. I always remember heavy people believe me because this I never give up. More important for me is my family. And my students, my sponsor, and everyone believe me. This is my motivation every day. When I'm waking up, I remember. I remember this. Same, same. I train because I remember my students, my my family, my friends believe in my work. The part more hard for me is is diet. <laughs> it's very hard to me. But um, I, I like training. For me, is is very good. I'm feeling I'm feeling good when when I'm training. Sometimes, for example, it's Sunday. I no training. I can't sleep. 
I want training every day. It is more important for me. If those side is, you need the like to train. You never can train just because you need. I love training. This is. I feel good when I train. I don't know. I just train. <laughs> for me, training hard for competition because I like. My train don't change, but but just in competition, I train one day and more. Just use for training. I every train every day. Train. You need to give it all the time your best. When I'm go competition, I I no drink coke, I no drink sugar. I'm I'm live I'm live just to train. I train three three times per day. When I'm go eat, I just uh, eat good food. This is important. Maybe you need to give your the best. You need to live semi one to be ch uh, champion. Because if you just train, just train, but no, no drink supplements, no training, uh, physical training, you never should be champion. This is important. Discipline. This is very important. Yeah, for me, same. Because what you will find, you need work diet, you need focus, you need train more. Like that, this is different. Maybe I need to think. Please wait. O que é melhor, tipo, jiu-jitsu ou mulher, entendeu? I need to think. Just one. Just one. Just one. No can together. No. Just one. If you're the biggest. Please, women is very complicated because women have hurt, hurt, hurt cold, man. This is very hard. Jiu-jitsu is more good because when you train jiu-jitsu, you feel feel good. But when you have girlfriend, man, girl is bad. Always is bad, man. Always is talk a lot. You feel bad when you go to train. You feel bad. It is maybe I prefer jiu-jitsu, man. Uh, Woman, like, why? Why you have girlfriend? This is you need to train today. You need to train now. It's Saturday. You go train again. Oh my God, man. A fruitful journey uh, since we've had the Sosa brothers over here. Uh, of course, number one is the the technique that they brought with them. It's pretty amazing. There's a lot of things that you know that just goes back to the basics with body movements. Technique library has definitely uh, uh, been enriched with what Marcos and Satoshi has contributed to us, and you know we've got a lot of uh, stuff to work with already for the next 12 months, and. You know, it's just right now it's a matter of drilling them and drilling them and perfecting what we've learned. And you know, by the time that you know we've got just the hang of what we learned, hopefully you can just have them back already and teach us new stuff again. It's been Satoshi and Marcos, they've been the perfect gentlemen. Uh, they exemplify what it is to be a martial artist and what it is to be a good person. And it's something that, you know, aside from the techniques, it's something that uh, all of our students can aspire to. Aside from the techniques and the jiu-jitsu, uh, it's been a lot of fun for the boys. We've been bringing them around. Uh, we've been exposing them to Filipino food, you know, uh, seasick, gempo, chicken. You know, between the two of them, uh, on their first night here, they just they ate three whole chickens, just the two of them. They were taken to do surfing, which is amazing. It's the first time they, they went surfing, considering they were born and raised in Brazil. So, you know, it's uh, they said it's pretty amazing that they never realized they were go gonna go to the Philippines just to learn how to surf. They've been here since what, like 1.30 or something like that. Yeah. They're here early. <laughs> <sighs> for all you people out there who are interested in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, okay, it's it's an awesome for them to come here and grace us with their presence and talk about how far they've gone through the sport and how it's benefited their lives. We've got the D'Souza brothers here on Magic 89.9. Hey, how you guys doing? So we've got the two brothers, Marcos de Souza and Satoshi de Souza. They're here in the Philippines for a couple There's of days. The media that's around the Souza brothers, uh, we've been bringing them around uh, on Tri Media, uh, starting with Magic 89.9 on the radio, uh, Game Day is featuring them on their TV show, uh, websites and blogs like interactive.com, yahoo.com.ph, and rapper.com. So there's been a lot of attention going around the Souza brothers, and we hope that uh, this just makes jiu-jitsu a lot more accessible and makes people a lot more knowledgeable of what we do here as a sport and Origins BJJ also as a club. On print we have uh, men's, health, men's health 
uh, came in and interviewed the Dissouza brothers. They'll be featuring them sometime this year. And it's just been wild. Uh, you know, they said that they're more nervous being in front of the camera and being interviewed for, for Tribe Media than they are in competition. So I hope they, they really like what they experience over here and that they'll welcome an invitation when we ask them to come back again. I'm so happy to be here. I, I hope everyone uh, learned something. Okay. When, if, you, if you guys lose this position in competition, you won't come in and leave. <laughs> Come back to Japan. I miss everything here. I miss you guys. This yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just the first of many projects. We we have a lot more in store for us. We're definitely going to bring the This Was the Brothers back, and we're just going to keep on bringing in some more talents to help uh, enhance our techniques and make jujitsu here in the Philippines richer. Uh, so just you know. Come over, train with us at Origins BAJ. Anyone and everyone is welcome. Uh, the only thing we ask for in our students is make sure that every time you train, that you learn something new and that you're having fun. And somewhere along the way, you just find yourself that you're excellent jiu-jitsu practitioners. So I invite everyone to come over. Let's have fun and let's learn something new. Who want to play with the enforcer? Who want to play with the enforcer? Who want to play with the enforcer? Who wanna play with the enforcer? Who wanna play with the enforcer? Money like a boss, but I still come off.